Welcome to the Beyond Help Center. In this video, I'll show you how to create a video in Beyond Studio. First, log in to your account and access the studio by clicking Create a Video in the top right corner. Here, you'll have several options to get started. Moving from the bottom up, you can go directly into the Character Creator, import slides from a PowerPoint presentation, create a video in different preset aspect ratios like 9x16 vertical video for social media, 1x1 square video, or horizontal video in a standard aspect ratio of 16x9. You can also click Use a Template, which will take you to our template showcase. Here, you'll find hundreds of pre-made videos covering dozens of categories and scenarios, which you can use as a starting point and customize to your needs. For this tutorial, I'll start from scratch with a horizontal video. The first time you use the studio, you'll see information boxes to help you navigate. They appear during your first visit to help you learn the ropes. On the left side of the screen is your content panel. One of our favorite ways to get started is with scene templates. Open the scene tab to explore thousands of scene templates. Inside this panel, you can toggle between displaying all of our animation styles, or narrowing your search down to a specific style, business-friendly, whiteboard animation, or contemporary. Beyond professional and enterprise subscribers also have access to the common craft style. Hover over each template to see a preview before adding it to your video. Simply click the one you want, and it will appear on the stage and the timeline. The stage is where you'll see the content of your scene. Making changes to a template here is as easy as drag and drop. When it's time to add a new scene, click this plus icon to choose a new scene, continue the existing scene, or add a blank scene. Moving back to the Asset Toolbar, the Discover tab allows you to search for keywords and see the results across every category of assets. Next is the Projects tab, which lets you see all the assets currently used inside your video. You can also navigate into other videos within your video library to access and utilize scenes that you've created in other projects. Lastly, if you're an enterprise user, you can access videos from your shared spaces, which are folders in which videos are shared amongst selected team members. You've already had a glimpse into the Scene tab, but an extra category within this panel is called Your Scenes. This is a collection of scenes that have been saved as templates, which you can access across every video you work on. You can save a scene by right-clicking on it in the timeline, then choosing Save Scene. This is a great way to access scenes you might need to use frequently, or save useful assets, like your brand's color palette, for easy access in new videos. In the Props tab, search through thousands of static and animated assets across each style. In the Character tab, choose between hundreds of stock characters within each style, or create your own custom characters by accessing the Character Creator. The Charts tab provides a number of ways to visualize your data, and each chart type can, of course, be customized to your company's needs. And with the prop charts, swap the light bulb out for any other asset or character. The text panel offers dozens of pre-made titles and text templates, all of which can be edited for size, font, color, and effects. You can create text from scratch by clicking the Add Text icon. The audio panel is where you can find a large library of over 150 licensed music tracks and over 300 sound effects to use in your videos. You can also click the Add Audio icon to record your voice or generate text-to-speech dialogue. Clicking Find Voice Talent will give you the option of navigating to two different external websites with voiceover talent for hire. Lastly, the Upload panel is where you can import and access your personal library of images, videos, audio, and fonts. To close any of these panels, click on the highlighted panel icon, or press the Escape key on your keyboard. The right side of the toolbar is where you'll find your asset properties. When you hover over an icon, you can see a description of what it does. The asset properties will change depending on the type of asset you selected on the stage. For example, if a prop can have its color changed, you'll see color swatches appear when the prop is selected. 
Any asset can be swapped out by clicking the Replace icon. Props, characters, and text are all interchangeable when using the Replace function. When a character is selected, you'll get options in the asset properties to change the character's expression or apply a character action. Preview character actions by clicking the play icon at the bottom corner of any action. Click the full icon to apply the action. For all selected assets, there are icons on the right side of the toolbar that allow you to add enter or exit effects and motion paths. If no assets are selected, you will have options to change your scene background and color, add a scene transition, or a camera, which can be used to create close-ups or camera movement. Moving on to your timeline, this is where you can adjust the timing of everything in your video. Click and drag to rearrange scenes, or click and drag the end of a scene to change its duration. Expand the timeline by clicking the down arrow, which reveals any effects and motion paths you have applied. Scene transitions and enter or exit effects are represented with green bars, while motion paths and camera movement are represented with blue. Drag the top of the timeline to enlarge the timeline's viewable area. You can also zoom into the timeline to make more refined timing adjustments. When you're ready to watch your video, click the preview icon. The video will always begin previewing from the currently selected scene. To preview from the beginning of your video, click the down arrow and select Preview from Start. While in preview, you can pause, drag the playhead to scrub through your scenes, and make adjustments to the timing of scenes, camera movement, motion paths, effects, and transitions. To exit preview, click anywhere outside of the stage or on the preview icon again. You can title your video in the upper left corner. Renaming your video will automatically save your work. To manually save your work, click the save icon in the upper right corner. Your videos are also auto-saved every 10 minutes while you are working. And if you ever find yourself needing help, click the question mark icon to browse our entire help center. Or use a keyword to search for specific tutorials all from directly inside Vion Studio. Ready to make your first video? We can't wait to see what you create in Vyond.